So I think these vintage and artwork city map posters are pretty cool. They show waterways, city blocks, and transit systems generally in a variety of ways. Can be quite expensive, so a lot of people are creating them in Canva. Got me thinking that I might want to design one of my own using Strava heat maps, and I am actually currently asking people on my LinkedIn, some of my colleagues at Southern Illinois University, what they like. Is it the up close view of Carbondale and Southern Illinois University in this modern sleek? Or is it the more retro entire Southern Illinois region with the Shawnee National Forest shown here with maybe some logos and so forth and they will be voting on it but guess what I think that actually it's super cheap I might just order all of them as you can see one copy for one poster is just going to be $15 I can all order all three of these for $45 but of course could get expensive framing all of them so hey I'm Dr. Craig Ingstrom but you can just call me Craig because that's what my cycling buddies call me and in this video I will be showing you how I created these maps and then in a future video I will show you how it turns out when I actually get it in person so again you can do all types of these posters you could do your city block you could do parks in your community there's really no end of what you can do but what I'm doing is Strava heat maps and if you are a runner cyclist a swimmer there's a variety of things that you can use in terms of the heat map function then this might appeal to you so uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm using the global uh, heat map you can if you are a premium subscriber to Strava use the heat maps of your own activities so you can see here that this is kind of where I'm cycling in the region and if I zoom out you can see all of my cycling uh, sort of in North America and it's not I think as impressive when you look at what I've done locally if I zoom in here but I can go to the global map and actually if you kind of see this as the Shawnee here you can see when I zoom out that I actually am cycling a lot of the same areas so why not sort of use this now again you can zoom in I'm just using the mouse cursor to zoom in you can zoom out and you can decide you know sort of how you want to ultimately design this a few things to note you will see that it has my pin location what I can do depends on your browser but what I want to do is disable location and then if I do that it will no longer and then I refresh it will no longer show the pin so that takes that out of your picture then there are the heat map colors you can go between hot you can go to blue that's the one that I was kind of playing with but I ultimately went with purple you can go to gray which sort of gives you a cleaner look or you can go to red you can just do cycling you can just do running so a variety of things just kind of play with it let's just stick with all activities um, so we can get a really uh, robust look at what people are doing in the Carbondale community I can go with heat you know opacity so if I go back to hot you know I can change this and you're just playing with the colors and how sort of light or dark you want items to be so if you did something like that you might be able to do more layover text and of course you can always play with this once we get it into Canva if you want to label items so you'll see in one of my images I did have it labeled that one labeled and I had both of these labeled so again just preferences however you want to ultimately design it you can add a satellite view or you can go to dark light standard winter you know there's so many options here I do this hybrid one you can actually show the 3d terrain give a different view of it so a lot you can play with once you figure out what you want to do in terms of your look let's just go ahead and go back to purple let's go to 80 percent let's go to dark mode and you will see that's one of the items that i'm currently playing with and this one this one and then this one i played with the color choice in canva once you have your map all you're going to do is take a screenshot I'm sure you have a variety of tools available to you I prefer Snagit which is a great tool very affordable especially for the education license I do have a link in my description that will take you to a affiliate link give them a try I think it's a quite great tool so I'm gonna pop that open I'm just gonna hit capture gonna take a screenshot will open up for me I can now copy that and just take it into Canva and I can place it by hitting control V and then what I can do is I can just replace background with that snap it into place and now that's good so let's say now I want to say that it's from Strava so I'm gonna to go to elements 
I've already typed it in, but if you haven't had anything there, then you just go there and you type in Strava. I think if you are a brand, by the way, you should work with Canva to get your logos into Canva, and then you can choose whichever one you want. I chose something like that, and then you could do that. If you wanted to and you didn't have the labels, you know, you could actually add some text. So, for example, you could do something like Carbondale. Let's just get that nice and large. Let's make it white. I think it'll look better white. And... You know, I could do something like that. Anyway, you can play around with it. So let's go ahead and go up here. So what I did here is I used Blanca as my background. I went for effects. If I go there, go to effects, I chose the effect of shadow. I played around with the color to get it what I wanted. Specifically, um, I was using the document colors. And for the text up here, one thing that's nice is it will show you the photo colors. And you can kind of choose there. If you're not getting the color you want, then you can obviously go to the... Um, choose icon here and then just go to wherever you want in terms of the color so if you want something a little brighter you can obviously you know get on that square and then choose that on this one here what I did is I went to the heat map for the entire United States I did the screenshot and again if you don't have something like Snagit you can use a word document go to insert and let's go ahead and take a screenshot or a screen clipping. Now I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to come back over to Canva. Let's go ahead and add a new item and then hit Control V to place it, you know, just to show you. And you'll see that the background no longer uh, matches. So this is where doing something like zooming in on the color. Let's get it to roughly that one. There we go. I mean, you can still see the lines, so you'll have to play with it you know, to kind of get it like that. I believe what I did is I went to edit image and I went to background remover. All right, sure enough, that helps out quite a bit. So you can see that the color is looking very nice there. Okay. Anyway, so I wanted this one not to be like, if I snap this to the background, you know, it wasn't looking right. So I kind of played around and then to fill in the white space, I used text. Now, I also wanted, like I said, to say that it was from Strava. So I went to elements. Strava, as I said, and then I placed that one in, but then just changed the color to one of the colors in the map. So let's go ahead and just choose that one and then come down here. I can resize it, of course. And then what I wanted to do is I added the word heat map by spelling it out and I used this League Spartan. And if I zoom in a little bit, and then what I did to make sure that it was the right length is I went to file, I went to show rulers and guides. In the rules. So you can use rulers to really align things in Canva if you're not familiar with that. Very helpful. Again, you just go to file and you go to show rulers and guidelines. So what I sometimes will do is try to align items together in that. Then I will group them together and then now I can resize together uh, very nicely. Okay. So I just did that and that's how I created that first one. So I just again took a screenshot, removed the background image, and went with that. For this one here, I took a screenshot and then I placed it in the background and then I just added the logo. So if you have a premium subscription to Canva, again, a link in the description to the affiliate link. If you wanna support this channel, click on that one, go ahead and sign up for Canva that way. And what's nice about Canva Premium is you can actually load in your brand. And I always have my department, my company, just a lot of the different logos that I use. And so for example, I can just click here, place that down there, and then I pulled it down. Very simple and easy to do. And of course you can play around with how you want it to ultimately look. For the vintage item, so I went to detach from background. I went to, for the image, I went to edit image. And then what I played around with were things like the filters, duotone i just kept kind of going through items i wanted so for example let's just say for you know hypothetical purposes you wanted to create some kind of like trippy looking map you could certainly do that i'm just going to control z control z um, you could see that actually by doing that it darkened that let's go ahead and go control y it shows the map a lot more control z and then I'm going to go ahead and replace background. So anyway, you can see uh, how I did all of that. Then what I did is I just went to icon. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to go to cycling. And then I went to graphics. And then I found the one. And I actually designed this 
quite some time ago, so I don't know actually where that one is, but you know, you can just kind of go through. If you do again have a premium account, you will have a lot more choices. And then I just renamed it to Ride Southern Illinois, but I thought So Ill would be good. That's kind of a shortened version of Southern Illinois that we use around here. And this is showing, like I said, the Shawnee National Forest. This is actually through here what is called the Dirty South Ride. Um, it is an event that happens in March. If you are a gravel rider, hey, check that one out. You might actually enjoy that event in early March down here. The weather is quite nice. Usually it's 50 degrees. We rode it once when it was like 22, but okay. So anyway, what I'm going to do now that I've sort of designed these is, I don't know if again, I'm gonna just order one or multiple, but I would just go to print poster. I can decide, I'm gonna do it really large. I want a large one and I'm probably not doing the first one for sure. So what I'll probably do is choose the winner or go ahead and print both of them. I think I'll probably want to do a little bit more editing on this one, but I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Printed, I will show you what the final item looks like. So if that is of interest to you and you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. I post on a variety of topics, but they're all oriented towards training development, presentations, and business communication. So hey, until the next video, I do hope that you have a wonderful day.